Okay, everybody, so I'm actually at work right now at my office, and I had mentioned my incubator was up here. I was putting this little thing together. I just figured I'd show y'all what I did, basically. I'm not going through a step-by-step -step for this. Took the back paneling off. Ripped out all the guts, which are over there on that chair. Um, filled it up with some extra foam. Actually left a passageway there where I've mounted a couple little fans that are going to help to circulate the air inside so that we don't have any uneven hot spots. Other than that, I got the back panel. I'm going to wire those up to a cord. have the cord coming out the back panel. This was the back panel that was on it, minus the parts that are over here that you can see bumped out quite a bit. So I actually took some simple vinyl aluminum black sheet, cut it to size, drilled the holes where they're going to fit. So when I put everything back on the back, It'll be nice and flat, close off all the gaps. I'll probably put some uh, caulking around the screw holes just because I don't want any air escaping. I don't think much would, but don't want it to regardless. Um, and really that's all I had to do for it. There'll be a hole for the probe as well as the cord coming out. As you can see, that's the inside of it as of right now. It has these little racks that go on. Each shelf, I'll put that in upside down, but it doesn't matter. And each one of these tubs fits in almost too perfectly. So that's what I'm using for an incubator. It'll hold about four clutches plus a bunch of water bottles to help in case there's any issues with the heat opening and closing the door. If power blinks out for a little while, having the water bottles in there, if you don't open the door, will actually keep the temperature for a little while and hopefully not cause any drastic spikes or anything like that. Other than that, that's all I wanted to show y'all. Um, that's what I'm using for an incubator. But yeah, actually gutted it and all of that good stuff and I'm not gonna be using heat tape. I'm actually gonna be using the uh, heat cable for this. At least for now, this is a temporary one. Um, I plan on building a larger one for my snakes. Um, after I do that, this one might be the one that we use for our geckos whenever we do eventually start that project. T-Bone, go. My dog over here, he uh, came to see me. I'm back at the house now. So yeah, I put the heat cable into the incubator, plugged it up, all that good stuff. Problem is, it doesn't actually get to the temps that I need it to. The highest I've seen it get after a couple days on a nice warm day it got up to 87 never got any higher than that so I'm going to take out the heat cable it just wasn't enough I probably should have got a higher watt heat cable and I'm just gonna go with some uh, heat tape that I'm gonna place back there so cut the video and I'll come back when I got that installed okay so now I got the heat tape put in let it wired up run through the back taped in just using some regular duct tape about to put the uh, racks back in get the thermostat taped into place right in the middle and go plug it in and see how it does hopefully this time it'll get more than 87 degrees in there okay so got it hooked up got all the racks in got the tubs in water bottles down bottom Got it all plugged up up there. Right now it's only reading at 69 degrees. I literally just plugged it in, so now I'll play a little waiting game. See if it reaches temperature, how quickly it does so, how well it holds it. Test the temperatures top and bottom. I'm sure y'all probably noticed when I put the heat tape in, I covered the two fans that were on the back. So I can no longer use those, which is fine. The way I originally did it, I actually wired it up wrong and blew one of my fans anyways. I may drop this down just a little bit and put a fan up there if I need to, but this is such a tight fit with these bins, these tubs, that I don't think it would help out a whole lot. It might help out some, but I'm just going to see how it regulates temperature as it is right now and go from there. Alright y'all. Alright, real quick, here we are the next day. It has reached and is holding at 90. Everything's looking good. Feels good on the inside. Door open for just a second. 
Not too long. About how long it would take for me to get a tub out if it had eggs in it. I didn't change a bit at all right there. So anyways, the heat tape worked out a hell of a lot better than that damn heat cable did. Heat cable, after a week, topped out at 87. Okay, so it's been about a week. Temperatures are maintaining just fine. And I think it's pretty much good to go at this point. Safe to say it's going to hold fine. I do have a, another thermostat that I can put in there. Two of them, one for the top, one for the bottom to get the difference and variation. I haven't installed it yet because, well, quite frankly, I have to dig it out and figure out where in the world I put it. Other than that, however, I did take a temp gun and the difference is a one degree difference. It's not enough that I'm going to go through and start moving stuff around and trying to put a fan in there. One degree I can live with. Other than that, everything's good to go. Holding temps just fine. Snakes are getting nice and plump, so probably be putting them eggs in there this season, I'm hoping. I got Ran and Heimdall in here. And haven't seen a lock with them. Not 100% positive if they're just both competing for heat right now. But it did appear as though Heimdall was courting her earlier, so that was first thing this morning it appeared to be so. So I might have missed a lock yesterday or last night. Or it just may not have happened. Sip down here has arrows in with her. And, yep, locked again. Every single time I've checked on them, they've been locked. I put them, put the males in with the females yesterday morning, I believe it was. Morning, early, morning to early afternoon. And by the time I got off work and checked on them, those two were locked. And they've been locked nonsense. I've, every time I've checked on them, they're locked up, so... They're doing good. Like I said, I definitely have good plans for high hopes for Aphrodite and Sif. Lavin I don't think is going to go, but I'll keep putting Heimdall in with her. And Ran I'm hoping. I haven't seen any locks, but I've seen growth in Ran, so... There's hopes. There's hope there. Anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care.